Well, what I was trying to say is that I think the issue of hate speech and uh, this uh, public attack on white racism is simply part of a very much bigger picture and that one shouldn't be too focused just on that uh, smaller topic because this is happening in the context of very low or zero growth, uh, something of a crisis for the ruling party, and they're looking around fairly desperately uh, for how to deal with this situation. Now, in this situation, there's no spare money. The resistances to redistribution are very, very great. It's very hard to do any redistribution in a zero growth situation. And uh, where the pressures upon them to deliver to the black middle classes are just as great as they ever were. So in that situation, I think that this introduction of the hate speech bill is an attempt to reassert a certain sort of hegemonic control, if you like, uh, over debate, and particularly, of course, to protect the president from uh, very strong criticism. Uh, this is a key part of the legislation. Uh, and I think that part of all this is uh, an attempt to try to reorient the debate because of, of the pressures in the society, because of zero growth, you've got faction fighting of all sorts, you've got tribalism, you've got ethnic hostilities, you've got racial, dog eats dog. Now in that situation, what in effect the ANC is trying to do is to reassert the primacy of the black-white cleavage. And they're saying white monopoly capital, and the key word is white, is the enemy, and we must focus everything on that opposition, which means subsume all those other tensions under that and stop fighting between factions and stop fighting tribally or any other way um, and concentrate on that. And um, my view is that this can't really work, both because, um, because race relations in this country are not really that bad, uh, and also because the other tensions are very real and won't really go away. And thirdly, because I think that this bill, the hate speech bill, will run into trouble with the courts and the Constitution. So I think it's not going to be a winning tactic. Look, it's very opportunistic in the sense that people seize upon individual cases and try and inflate them to have a general importance, uh, often illegitimately, and um, yeah, I find it very peculiar in a sense. But we are a society with very strong taboos and where everything has got echoes of previous uh, unjust situations. And, uh, you know, I think that media reporting plays to those things very much. Uh, but all I would say is that too doesn't really work uh, in the sense that the ANC now has control of the main broadcaster. It has its extra TV channel, the Gupta TV. They control all the major English-speaking newspapers, and they've got New Age as well. Uh, despite all of that, the ratings of their leader and their party have just gone down and down and down. Mm -hmm. So the propaganda machine is not really working. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much.